Our language has a lot of dark history, just like we do. And uh, a lot of phrases that we still use, you'd be surprised how horrible their origins are. I regret going down this black hole, but here we are. Number one, the itis. The itis, which is known as a food coma, when black people eat a lot, they tend to say that they have the itis. Uh, it, was, it started as a stereotype of laziness associated with black people, and it stems from a longer version, inward-itis. I think you can, uh, your imagination can paint that. Uppity. Uppity. I say uppity all the time. Uppity. Apparently, uppity started during segregation when Southerners used uppity to describe black people who didn't know their socioeconomic place. I almost tripped all over that word, but uppity. That, that refers to um, an uppity black person. Peanut gallery. Man, the amount of shows I have with a peanut gallery is embarrassing. I say this all the time. It says, this phrase intends to reference hecklers or critics or usually ill-informed ones, but in reality, the peanut gallery names a section in theaters, which were the cheapest, worst seats, where the black people sat. So that's the peanut gallery. Yikes. Jip. Saying, ah, I got gypped. Now that I say it, it sounds racist. It's a shortened word, a uh, shortened version of gypsy, uh, which was, you know, the, Rom the Romani, an ethnic group now mostly in Europe and America. Uh, they traveled along uh, a lot, made their money by selling goods, and I guess they were called gypped, uh, gyps. So being gypped is synonymous with cheating somebody. <sighs> yep. Sold down the river. Now that I now that I'm looking at this in the context of these other phrases, this is for sure. This is for sure a racist one. This is someone sells you down the river. That's when he or she betrays or cheats you. Uh, but during slavery, masters in the north often sold their misbehaving slaves, sending them down the Mississippi River to plantations in Mississippi, where the conditions were much more harsh. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo is a lot darker than you would think. This phrase comes from a longer children's rhyme. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Uh, that's the modern version. Can you guess what uh, catch a tiger by the toe used to be? If you guess the N word, you're right. This was a counting out song. Basically a way for kids to eliminate candidates for being it in hide and seek.